We are indeed. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I don't know what's making me cough today. Every time I try and speak to you, I breathe, get a frog in my throat. Right, so we've got the gorgeous Tingana. There's the Eye of the Leopard. It's closed at the moment, which is pretty much to be expected. And there is the massive head of the dominant male leopard of this area, Tingana. And he really is massive. He's absolutely huge. I've just been sitting here, because I'm quite close to him at this point, and I'm just sitting here thinking, I wonder how much he actually does weigh. I'm keeping my voice down, not because it's going to bother him too much. He's not going to be afraid of it. But at the same time, I feel he looks so peaceful sleeping like that. I actually don't really want to disturb him. So I'm just going to talk softly for the time that we spend with him. And you know, in about half an hour's time, he's actually probably going to get up and start to call, well... No, half past four, maybe not. I'm trying to decide whether or not we should stick with him for the entire sunset safari or if we should go and come back. But I think it might be worth sticking with him and just enjoying his company. And there's, in this particular area, there's lots of potential food around. He doesn't look particularly full either. I don't know what he was looking like this morning with James. But an antelope or anything like that could come through for a drink at Treehouse Dam. And leopards, like all predators, are opportunists. And if something does come through, there's a very good chance he will go for it. And he's so perfectly hidden where he is. The nice thing is, I don't feel so bad because he isn't anywhere where we looked. We did not look in this particular spot. So it's not like Ferg and myself drove past him, thank goodness. Otherwise, I would have wept from shame. So we didn't miss him. We just didn't exactly drive the right spot. Hey, sleepy boy. Are you happy there? So for our new viewers, Tingana is probably the big male leopard that we see most often. And we occasionally see his, his sort of rival neighbors, Mvula and E. Anderson male, and very occasionally Kajima male leopard. But Tingana's got a territory that stretches through Simbambili, down Arethusa, into Hoffman's, across Hoffman's, into Little Gauri, Vessels, Cheetah Plains, back up through Torchwood and across Juma. And that is complete Greek to, well, not quite Greek, none of those names are actually Greek, but that's completely un not in, unintelligible to our new viewers. But suffice to say, I mean, if I had to try and work that out, Juma's 1,200 hectares, Arethusa is not quite as large. I would say he's got a territory of about 6,000, maybe even 8,000 hectares, which is quite extraordinary. It's an absolutely massive, massive territory. Oh, big yawn and a wake up. Now, I think we should send you back on through to the Mara because it sounds as though Brent has got some really amazing antelope to show you.